Josh, true or false? Jews in Israel drive around in super nice, expensive luxury cars. Arabs drive around on donkeys, camels, or maybe at best, broken down vehicles. Israelis in their fast cars, black bearing away, booming down these super highways, while Palestinians on their donkey carts make their way on dirt tracks if they can get there. We're gonna go right now, and we're just gonna show you. Like always, we're just gonna drive the cars out. We're gonna go to a Arab, Israeli both, like road where they're using it together. And then we're gonna see. Today we're gonna like judge the entire country by the cars they're driving. Let's just do it. And we'll find out, you'll learn today, the answer to that question. Let's go. Just want y'all to know you're speaking to two vehicle experts here. I once owned a Honda Odyssey minivan and Josh once owned a 1991 Toyota Camry. So if there's anybody that knows vehicles, it's us. But first, start off the day, we're hitting up the local Arab coffee shop. Josh, I think we're gonna get a lot more accomplished if we split up. So I think I should go south, you should go north, and we'll see how many vehicles we can count today. Sounds good. And to add to that, we're only gonna be on roads that both Jews and Arabs alike are driving. So right. fairness to everybody, yeah. we're gonna have very fair stats by the end of the day. Rules of the game, white and green license plates are Palestinian, yellow license plates are Israeli. Let's go. So we're headed towards Ramallah because uh, if you wanna find a lot of Arab cars, you go to one of the biggest Arab cities. So if I know Luke, he's gonna go down, uh, he's gonna set up on the side of the road, he's gonna take his binoculars out from about 50 feet off the road, and he's gonna stare at cars for about three hours. Uh, I don't know where Josh is headed, but if I was to guess, I would say he's probably gonna come up with some outlandish, adventurous, slightly dangerous idea. We're gonna try to do um, a little more adventure style. I see myself on the back of a donkey cart. Um, I don't, let's, let's just see. guys, time to count cars. We're right out here on a road that is open to Israelis and Palestinians. Hey, what's up? Hey, you trying to <laughs> What are you doing? Count cars. Uh, what do you got? You got, you got some good stuff? Oh yeah. I don't see any cars and I don't see anywhere close to the road. That's exactly what I thought. What are you talking about? We're like on the road. 125 cars, bro, in only 30 minutes. All right, we saw a $280,000 car just pass. What about you? Oh, people love uh, love seeing us sitting here. All the Palestinians, they like honk at us and wave and smile real big. Okay, all right, later. All right, go get an interview. I got it. Luke is like really, he sent me a picture. He's like, <laughs> 50 feet off the road, up on the side of a hill, like all parts with this binoculars. Israelis in their fast cars, black bearing away, booming down these super highways, while Palestinians on their donkey carts make their way on dirt tracks if they can get there. Okay, so we're here at the uh, junction here on Highway 60. Most of the cars traveling down this road are white license plate or green license plate, which are both Arab cars. Just remind you, this is an Israeli built, maintained, tax dollar road. Israelis in their fast cars while Palestinians on their donkey cars. Mercedes! Nice! Mercedes. Is that a Beamer? Nice. Mercedes. Pretty sweet ride. But that was Israeli. That was a nice SUV right there, but I'm not sure what kind it is. Nice car! That was a sweet BMW. Volkswagen is probably the most, one of the most common Palestinian cars. Ooh, that's a Beamer, isn't it? Huge old, but it's brand new. Nice car! I like it! Good morning! Volkswagen, you like Volkswagen? Volkswagen's good? Good. Ooh, Mercedes, sweet. Oh, Range Rover, Range Rover. Lots of Mercedes. You know, where I come from, Mercedes is like a pretty nice car. Nice truck. 
Ooh, a Jeep. It's a Jeep. Extra points for the Jeep. BMW. Whoa, Audi! Nice! I don't know why, but like most of the Palestinian taxis are either Mercedes, Volkswagen, some of them Volvo, maybe something. Mercedes taxi. Oh, look. Land Cruiser over there. Nice BMW. Nice Beamer. Audi! Good Audi! Jaguar! Dude! Israelis in their fast cars blackberrying away, booming down these super highways, while Palestinians on their donkey cars make their way on dirt tracks if they can get there. Israelis in their fast cars blackberrying away, booming down these super highways, while Palestinians on their donkey cars make their way on dirt tracks if they can get there. Okay guys, we've been here about an hour and a half. We're about to pack it up. Uh, we've estimated, we've counted about a third of the Palestinian cars that have gone by, and we're at 312. That's BMWs, uh, Volkswagens, Mercedes, and we've also been counting things like Audis, Land Rovers, Range Rovers, Jeeps, um, any super nice cars like that. Speak English? You speak English? Over here? YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Speak English? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Hey guys, we're here with Abdullah at the Champion uh, Auto uh, dealership here. Um, he's going to show us inside. Yeah. Yalla. So you can tell what kind of cars they fix up here. Lots of Volkswagens, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Audi. Audi's pretty popular. It's nice. nice. How much is this car? I think around. Um, 200,000 shekels? Not bad. <laughs> I see a lot of Audis. Audi is very popular. Yeah. Look at all those Audis. Around uh, 120. <laughs> 120 Audis here. I want to know, there's like uh, 50 mechanics here. So when you work on the cars here, and you're servicing different ones. What is the most popular cars here for Arabs? Korean and Germany. What's the, uh, what's your favorite? Audi. Audi? What do you drive? I drive Polox. Caddy. You drive a Caddy? Do you feel like everybody has uh, okay cars here? I think a lot of people think that, uh, that you don't have good cars. So I want to tell people you do it, you have, you have nice cars. Okay. You think it's, you think it's true? Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Welcome. Shukran. Welcome. Welcome for you. <laughs> How's it going? You speak English? Yes. Yeah? I really like your car. It's a sweet car. How did you how did you get such a nice car? How much? Uh, how many shekels? Uh, One hundred twenty thousand. One hundred and twenty thousand. You make a lot of money. <laughs> how do you have such a nice car? I thought all Palestinians were poor. No money, Palestine. No money? No. This is uh, finished. <laughs> Too much. Okay, good day. Habibi. Okay, so he paid, uh, he's 22 years old and he paid 120,000 shekels for that car. Yeah, pretty decent. Morning. Is that your car? The, the Range Rover? It's my father. <laughs> really? I saw it, I was like, what? How much you pay for it? Shekel, uh, 300, uh, 18. 318,000 shekels. Oh, yeah. Woo! You like, you drive it? <laughs> How, it goes fast, yeah? Crazy! This might seem like a fairly rundown part of town until you like walking by and read the name Range Rover. 
Range Rover. He paid 318,000, I believe, for this car. That's uh, like, what? Roughly $100,000. $100,000 vehicle sitting outside of this shop. And this is the owner of this shop's car, okay? I just met his son, and he said that this is his father's car. So yeah, we just uh, stopped for a second, but then uh, I just saw this convertible Mustang. Drive right back, there it is, right over there. Okay, we're gonna catch him. He's right there in the bed, see him? Crazy. Convertible Mustang. You speak English? Love the car. Where do you live? In Nablus? Crazy, how did you get that? You, you brought it from the States? Nuts. How much was it? 140,000 shekels? You look good. Nablus, he looked like he was 18. <laughs> Okay. Convertible Mustang, 18 year old, 140,000 shekels. All right, Josh, we've been uh, working solo for about four or five hours. How many uh, luxury cars did you end up counting? Oh, yeah. Um, well, we, we did say we were going to count. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I forgot to count. Well, uh, Maybe, I guess you didn't have the counter, but uh, <laughs> oh my we gracious. counted. Look at this. 1,012 Palestinian luxury vehicles. Unbelievable. And, uh, and we think that was about a third of all the Palestinian cars that we saw. Guys, I, I'm still just astounded by the fact that there's this many luxury cars in an area that people are totally and utterly confused about. They think that these people are literally, like you saw in the beginning, riding donkey carts. Did you hey, see any donkey carts? I have it, but we got to find one because we really need to. I, I, like you and I have both <laughs> seen donkey carts. If you come here, you will see a donkey cart probably once during your trip. Yeah, I think we should find a donkey cart. I think we need to find one to say that they're actually here. I have yeah. not seen one all day, but we will. Let's go. Let's see. come on. Yeah, let's go. Donkey Finding cart. A donkey cart coming up. Gotta get a video with you driving us. Yeah, I miss you. I wanna, I wanna sit on the back. We have a camera. I wanna, I wanna take a video. Sure. Yeah. Can I do it? Sure. Right here. No, what? Hey. Why? <laughs> well, we tried, but uh, we almost had our ride. To be honest, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have let us ride on my donkey cart either. I thought Actually, he was. I should have pulled horse. out my wallet real quick. The funny thing is, is we literally were turning that's, around that's right the here. green line for Judea and Samaria right there, and we were about to like that. We were gonna turn around at that roundabout, and you guys saw like we showed you all our GoPro footage. We literally drove like <laughs> hours and hours and hours today. That's the first, the first one and donkey cart that we saw all day. What did he say? Did he speak English? No. Oh, that's probably part of the Please. problem. Please. He saw the camera and he was like, "What are yeah, you doing?" Here. Okay, there you are. Uh, that's a horse a wrap, cart. Folks. That's a wrap. And uh, 1,012 uh, luxury and very nice cars amongst the Palestinian residents here in Judea and Samaria, and one horse and cart. Yeah. There are more. But that's the only one we can find today. It's not the so, norm, well, and I can guarantee just, you he probably say, has a nice car at home. Let's just say for every 1,000 luxury cars, there's <laughs> one donkey car. We'll give there that you to you. Guys, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Let us know what other myths you want us to bust. And make sure you get a shot of this Jeep driving by right now. That's an Israeli Jeep. Never mind. <laughs> Start let's over. do that again. 
Guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss out on any of the incredible new videos that we have coming up in the very near future. If you want to support our work, that's how we make these videos. Check out Patreon and our website to make a donation. In the meantime, tune out the fake news and tune into what is actually happening right here in the heartland of Israel. We'll be back next week right here at the Israel Guys. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, do us a favor. It's 2022. We are planning on massively growing this year, but we can't do it if you guys don't subscribe. So hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit all notifications so you don't miss out on any of our content. And if you want to see us go to a location, um, uh, bust some kind of myth, go, go somewhere in Judea and Samaria, drop it in the comments below. Um, we'd love to hear your ideas. Lastly, we have the only social media app and platform in the world that is 100% focused on Israel. You can go to your iOS or Android app store right now, search The Israel Guys and download our app 100% free. You can post. We're all posting here from Israel. It's like the YouTube channel, except every day we're putting out content from Israel's heartland. So go download The Israel Guys app on your favorite app store today. Get posting, get learning, get engaging with the biblical heartland of Israel.